It's been a very good period over the last um, four years. It's probably been more highs than lows, um, obviously starting with the Beijing Olympics and uh, first of all the selection. So the selection for Jared started in December 07 um, and it just went you know, high after high from there. You know, whenever there's been a setback or uh, you know we didn't perform as well as we would have liked at a championship, there's always something to come back and, and start working towards. Yeah, last year at the World Championships um, in Daegu had definitely one really big high winning a bronze medal in the 50 kilometre race and then one extremely uh, low of only getting 27th in the 20 kilometre race. So it was the, both extremes, thought going in, didn't think I was in that good a shape, um, just wanted to get some solid results. And yeah, it was great to get um, bronze in the 50k and made me think that if I put in that little bit of effort, I had that extra, extra motivation leading into this year for, for the London Olympics, so I could definitely win a gold medal. Um, yeah, looking back, um yeah, the Commonwealth Games was a great stepping stone for me. Um, unfortunately, I got a little bit sick the, the week of the race, so didn't quite perform as well as I wanted to at the Commonwealth Games. This year, I've taken some real leaps forward, um, brought my PB down quite significantly. Um, at the World Walking Cup, was really competitive um, earlier in the year, so I'm really looking forward to a great result and uh, being much more competitive this year than I have been in the past. Uh, the AIS has provided us with so many opportunities. Um, we've been around the world to some other training centres as well. And for us, um, Canberra's the perfect spot to train with the bike networks and then with the support of the AIS, having everything in one place, having um, massage and physio and the doctors and, and be able to get the nutrition advice and um, the psychology services. and be able to use a state-of-the-art recovery centre um, helps just with recovery after training each day but mainly just the athletes we get to train with and the people we get to work with at the AIS um, you know they're all ex experts in their field and they uh, give us great support and we couldn't do it without them. Our guys 7am know every morning that I'm going to be there and um, so that, that establishes routines from the outset, um, you know, twice a day training in a, in a full time training environment. But the support services throughout the AIS are, you know, they are world class and, and hard to match anywhere else in the country but also in the world. So we've got uh, um, physiotherapy support and massage support for all of our athletes on scholarship. We, we finish training every day at our recovery centre where we, we do our contra therapy water treatment. We also have our recovery bar for, for food and snack post training there. I guess we, we really motivate each other, um, really support each other, um, do a lot of our training together and we really push each other. Um, a little bit competitive, always on to you know, get great results. He clears the boss and uh, I may run second occasionally but uh, we, I think you know, in a married couple it's, uh, and particularly in this one, yeah, clears the boss. <laughs>